In this video, I'll be using this ball screw bearing support to review stock probing in Fusion 360. Let's take a close look at our stock setup. We only have to make a couple of these parts for now, so a quick and accurate setup is a high priority. As you can see here, the stock is sitting on the vise floor while centered in the vise along the X axis. Before moving on, let's take a moment to understand our intention for probing the stock as part of the program. We have a number of options to locate the stock in the vise and set the work coordinate system in the machine. To locate the stock, we could set up a stop, or we could just measure the material to be centered in the vise. Both would require manual probing to set the work coordinate system in the machine. Remembering that a quick and accurate setup is a high priority, I would like to save the time of setting up a stop and manually probing the work coordinate. The workflow we are going to use for this example will consist of a setup note to center the stock in the vise to plus or minus one inch. This workflow will shift the work coordinate system in the machine control to the precise location of the stock. Our work coordinate system is set to the vise floor for the Z and the X and Y positive surface of the hard jaws. The first step is in the CAM setup in Fusion 360. In the post process tab of the CAM setup, we will set the WCS offset to number 2 while setting the probe WCS override to number 1. It's important to note that the WCS offset is what will drive the cutting tool paths while the probe WCS override is what will drive the probe in the machine. This is a good time to remember that 0 and 1 in the WCS number sequence both output a G54 while G55 and subsequent work coordinates start with the number 2. Let's take a look at how we would set up the control for a Haas CNC mill. A moment ago, in our CAM setup, we set the WCS offset to G55 and the WCS override to G54. Now at the machine control, we need to set the G54 and G55 work offsets to the same value. Remember that G54 is the probe WCS override from the CAM setup, which drives the probe and goes unchanged from the probe cycle. While G55 is the WCS offset from the CAM setup, which drives the cutting tool paths and is the work offset that gets shifted to the precise stock location after the probe cycle. This is a common workflow that allows you to leave in this example the G54 unchanged while potentially eliminating three manual probing cycles, saving you valuable setup time. Now that we understand the WCS settings in the CAM setup and the work offsets at the machine, let's take a look at creating a stock probe cycle in Fusion 360. Let's start by selecting the WCS probe in the setup tools. Then select our probe it's important to note that a recent update now allows stock probing to work with stock defined as a solid model or as part of your setup. In this setup, I use a solid model. So now I'll turn on the visibility of our stock. Then all we have to do is select the top surface of our stock and you can see that an XY rectangular boss was automatically selected for the probe type. If you go to the geometry tab, you can expand the probe type dropdown to see what options you have for the geometry selected. In this case, I want to stay with the auto-selected XY boss. Now remember that our setup note said to center the stock in the vise to plus or minus one inch. Because of a big centering setup tolerance, we want to increase our clearance and over-travel distance to avoid a collision. In this case, I want to change both numbers to two inches. And now you can see there is a bigger clearance in the toolpath preview. The bigger clearance will allow for the stock to be off center by two inches before colliding with the probe. The overtravel distance will allow the probe to move two inches past the theoretical perfect stock position before alarming at the machine. Now let's simulate and see the results. You can see here that the probe is clearing the stock by the two inches we set as the probe clearance in the geometry tab. Let's take a look at probing the stock when it's defined in the cam setup. The main difference is in the geometry tab 
In the probe mode dropdown, we'll change the selection from model to stock. Use the same clearance and over travel inputs as before and click OK. In the next video, we'll take a look at the posted code for the probe cycles.